driver is instructed to gas it as fast as possible so nobody can see oh, what happened. No, no way. way. Well, what? well, if you think They're about it, to try to save the baby. If, well, <laughs> if, the, if the baby goes down, there's all those alligators. There's no saving it. Oh, what? I've been wanting to tell this story for so long. Yeah, that was by far the craziest thing yeah. I've ever heard in my entire life. That was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hi. Welcome back to whatever the hell this is. Special guest edition. I just got nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Meeting YouTubers is so weird. Um, I just because you're here. I can't believe I can't believe I'm here. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. You're here. Okay, sorry. Yes, we're here with some special guests with Eric the Electric and his beautiful girlfriend Christy versus Kitchen. Woo! Yellow. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my God, I have been watching you for a long fucking time. Like before you even started doing food challenges, like back when it was just, you know. I, I it's an honor to be here, seriously. Uh, like you. it's wow. it's wild because I've been watching you for uh, a long time as well. Like you're like the king and it's just- Of what? <laughs> <laughs> you're the OG. Yeah, I mean, it, but uh, but no, just to hear that you say that is, is wild to me. So, um, so yeah, I just, yeah, it's crazy. Um, okay, so I don't know how to do this because I have so many questions for you. I have so for many both answers. of you. And I don't know where to start and I don't want to overwhelm you. Um, so let's just do fashion, fashion update, update because let's I feel like I just need to get in the flow. Uh, and speaking of fashion update, I am wearing my my iHeart Carb shirt, Eric the Electric, which by the way, came in less than 24 hours. Really? So I don't know how that happened. I don't know if your warehouse is like down the street from me. Uh, my <laughs> merch girl, she takes care of everything. So um, she does it, she does it well. It looks great on you, by Thank the way. you. Wow. Right Two X and it's roomy. So thank you. You really thought about your audience. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, a roomy 2X is heavenly. Fuck yes. <laughs> Nothing better. Nothing better than being like, I could have gone XL. Like if I throw a 2X in the dryer, I mean, I have anxiety about it. Like, is it gonna fucking <laughs> Fit me? You know, if I got a roomy 2X though, dude, mm -hmm. I'm a peace of mind when I'm drying it. Yes. So, um, Also, okay, so Jared, speaking of which, your outfit, which by the way matches Christy over here. Yeah. Didn't even plan this. Both wearing blue camo 2006 vibes. Very much so. I don't really uh, get your theme with dressing us today. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I <laughs> All the things I got for everybody didn't show up. Like, well, Chris has showed up. He has his donut shirt. So that's mm -hmm. on theme. That's very Eric the Electric Donuts. <laughs> we have uh, Ryland, your McDonald's shirt. Yeah. That showed up. My merch, I guess Jared's the only one. I had like a really cool food outfit for you, but it didn't show up. I'm just curious, what kind of food outfits Damn. did you get? Well, I wanted like like fun, like, you know, his was a pizza. I was trying to go, I was looking through your life, through your thumbnails, and I was trying to pick the most popular foods. Oh, okay. Donuts, McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. sorry, the dogs are like- Riley's in the back. Right behind <laughs> Hi, here. Riley. We're the... Hi, baby. <laughs> We're trying to keep the dogs away from uh, ruining all the podcast equipment and it's not, it's not really working. Um, okay, so Christy. Yes. Uh, what are you wearing? Tell us about your outfit. Um, I am wearing, it's- <laughs> Riley. <laughs> She's very curious. <laughs> this is so bad. Dogs are the best. I know. Dogs They're are They're just the best. like they are. children. Do you want to eat my dog? <laughs> eat all three of them. I've, I've eaten a lot of things, them. Shane, but I, I that's one thing I probably won't <laughs> Draw touch. the line. Yeah, I draw the line. In. Okay. Uh, your outfit, blue camo, we matched. Yes, uh, this is from Bombshell Sportswear, not sponsored. Ooh. Love their stuff. And so I'm wearing their sports bra and their jacket. And oh, okay. It is very cool, like how it's so functional with your hands. <laughs> You Wait, know, what? I've never seen holes. that. I didn't even oh. notice that. I remember back in the day, did you ever just cut holes in your sweater so you could do that? Yep. 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 You know, and someone, fucking genius. Wait, there was an actual need for that? I never realized how that came about. So long sleeves, so you can stick them through your coat and it doesn't okay. get caught up. It's for layering. Uh, yeah. Whoa. It all makes sense. I'm like, I thought it was just to like look mm. like cute. Me, Me too. too. I never knew the like, functionality of it, but when you explain. The only yeah. time I saw people do that in high school, like I hung out around a lot of like punk and emo people and like they did that. That was a thing amongst the punk and emo kids and I did it too. But like I didn't know anyone else doing it back in the day. I'm old. I'm old. Um, I'm so excited. Sorry. I feel like I've been frazzled and like nervous because you are really, I haven't met a YouTuber in real life in a long time. Like ever since I got canceled. <laughs> I don't meet a lot of new people. <laughs> so thank you for coming and being here. Thank you for having us. It's, um, it's really awesome. So, okay, I want to get people up to speed in case you haven't seen his videos. You fucking idiot, what are you doing? Uh, they are really a journey and an adventure and a roller coaster. Uh, I want to just show 
the first 30 seconds of this video because I feel like this literally perfectly encapsulates what you do on the internet and why I love it so much. My goal for the next 31 hours is to gain 31 pounds. If I can reach 31 pounds before the 31 hours are up, then this will be the most amount of weight I've gained from a food challenge. What I put into my body over the next 31 hours is incredibly important. I could eat a bunch of watermelon and chuck a bunch of water to spike my body weight, but instead I'm going to be eating as much tasty food as possible. You'll find out why this was a very bad decision. Oh my God. After copying on the scale, my starting weight for this challenge was 170.4 pounds. This is my goal is to complete the challenge. My body weight has to be over 201.4 pounds. Oh, my other goal weight. <laughs> <laughs> my milestone. <laughs> it's time. Oh my Whew. God. All right, everybody, it is time to so, get- I feel sick already. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit by the foot to me just looks like poop glue, dude. <laughs> like you're gonna eat all that stuff and it's just like, why not glue it all together with fruit by the foot, you know? Not bad. I would give him a six out of 10. How, oh, you have so many questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how do you do this? How does your stomach handle? Cause you're not one of those people where like, when I used to do food videos, uh, keeping it real, I would spit into a cup. Mm -hmm. You, there's no cup. Yeah. I, I believe you. You can see the results. Like, it's fucking insane afterward how big your stomach gets. Mm -hmm. How do you do it without dying? Yeah, so there's, so with something like gaining 31 pounds in 31 hours, before these massive food challenges, I'm, if I'm weighing myself, I'm usually really depleted. There's loss of water weight, there's muscle glycogen, there's a lot of things that go into it. So okay. that's, I'm going into something like this really depleted. A lot of, like, that's, I'm, so my normal weight's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot higher than what I'm weighing in at for a video right. like this. This is like when I used to be on Weight Watchers, I would like starve myself for mm -hmm. a day before I went to my weigh-in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is, this is very equivalent to like fighting. Right, yeah. right. Like so, you're getting down to your weight, right. your, your you're fighting, fighting weight. Right. You know, and my question is, we were talking earlier and you said there's other like competitive eaters with like X amount of stomach capacity. Right. What does that so, mean? So how do you even like, cause dude, I feel like it, I eat three pieces of pizza and I'm bloated and I'm fat, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so like, what's wrong with me where I can't eat 30 pounds of food? How do you grow your muck, your stomach it's, capacity? It's crazy because this, this kind of like how, you know, a bodybuilder goes to the gym and they, they train their muscles to just get bigger. It's the stomach is essentially the same. So a lot mm. of, um, professional eaters, competitive eaters do the same thing where they're, um, they're expanding their stomach over time. And then, oh. um, that's, I mean, yeah, it's a very painful process, but it actually just, I mean, that's what do you what mean? Happens. Like wow. you, you fill it up with what? Yeah. So, uh, a lot of, uh, people can, you can do it. Lettuce? Like, exactly. Like lettuce, uh, a lot of like really high fiber vegetables. Um, won't you uh, have a stomach ache forever? Yes. Um, and a lot of people do it with water. So like just drink a ton of water, but that's also a really dangerous thing because you can have uh, water intoxication that can like have a really like a lot of bad results. So there's like a lot of different methods, but that's generally like how you do it. You just fill your stomach up and then it shrinks back down, fill it back and up. And there's no gym for this. There's no spot you can go to do this. There should be. Um, That'd be great. I mean, to fill up your stomach. <laughs> yeah. You, you should not? tell them the the story about how you realized you could eat Yes, water. how did this come into your life? So being able to consume as much food as I've, I have like now it's been it started when i was a i was a teenager like after i mean i i went through a really drastic weight loss phase and um i would literally just eat nothing but just mountains of vegetables i found a thing called intermittent fasting and i, I started doing that and so i would i would just only eat just mountains of vegetables because that was like the lowest calorie thing that i i had like i i was felt like i was comfortable with eating and so i mean i was just uh, that's the only thing that i ate for months and months and months and i would just have one meal a day and that one meal of vegetables would be like you know, it started with just like a normal bowl of vegetables, but over time, that's all I was, that's all I was eating. And so I, that normal bowl of vegetables just no longer was, was good. Like I, I was so like ravenously hungry. So I just kept eating two, I would eat two bowls of vegetables. And then it was like, so I just, over time, just doing this consistently, just stretched my stomach to the point where I, it took pounds and pounds of vegetables to like actually satiate me what and make me. What does yeah. that mean? Like, okay, so your stomach. So your stomach can, is big enough to where you can fill it up with 100,000 calories or, or some of your challenges are literally that. So, but does that mean when your stomach is empty, it's like a big flat balloon? Yeah, so, um, I mean, that's why it's hard for me to like actually like go out and like 
if I eat a normal, like normal meal at a restaurant, it's, it's, it's like, I'm, I'm still, like, I'm ravishly hungry. Like it's, it's, it's weird. To, Are you like, awakened the beast? Yeah, basically. You know, it's like, like it's, chewing gum is fucking with your stomach almost. I, I would like not chew, like chewing gum, but like if I go out and like, if we're going like to a, a restaurant, it's like, oh, we'll just get an appetizer. It's like, okay, well, I'm probably gonna be really hungry after that. Could so. I have done this on accident? Because I'm always starving and I always eat like normal portions of food. And I'm like, I could have five more of those, but I need to stop for financial reasons, not because I'm full. <laughs> and like, could I have done that on accident? Well, it's no, I, once you, once you start eating and uh, I mean, I, I it, it depends on a lot of things, but there's, you know, there's leptin and ghrelin, which are actual like hormones in your body that can have, they basically telling you that you're, you're hungry. So you're just going to keep eating, but th that's going to fluctuate based on the person. But I mean, uh, it sounds like you're probably just hungry. I mean, <laughs> Wait, that's normal to be how, hungry. Okay. So when you're doing one of these videos where you're eating like pounds and pounds of food, is it just a constant shitting or is it, <laughs> do you hold it all in and then it's like the next day and also how do you deal with that as his girlfriend so the, the way I've, I've 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 tried to like like because i obviously like this is probably the number one thing i get asked it's yeah. like oh, what okay, what do the bathroom trips yes. look like and it's like if you imagine um like a, a like a piping bag like where you pipe cakes with and you're just shoving frosting Ugh. into that piping bag it's not all gonna just come straight out of the bottom right you gotta you like that's that it's all gonna flow but it's gonna take a lot of time i'm hungry <laughs> i mean so wait okay so if you're sitting on the toilet me for instance not a competitive eater i'm able to oh my uh, god from from turtle head oh God. Oh God. to toilet water, wow. it's taken less than two seconds. Whoa, Are you whoa, telling whoa, me whoa. that you're sitting there and it's taken like oh no, like thirty no. seconds no. till I just come out like yogurt <laughs> in a piping bag? I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> that it's it's not gonna all just fall out of me the next morning. It's yeah. like it's the uh, next over the couple process of days. Of days. So what right. is your eating like for the next couple of days? Is it impacted? Do you just drink water and watermelon? Oh or? yeah. So it's it's it really just depends on like what the actual challenge is. But like I mean, for example, like I just did every cheesecake on the cheesecake. Factory how the fuck oh. did you do that? I so, was like, did he take yeah, a bite? How? And Shane's like, no, he ate them. Yeah, That's so delicious. that that was brutal. So like the next day, it's like I don't even want to think about food at all. Without further ado, let's make some bad decisions. Dude, so yeah. how do you not die from like that amount of? Okay, so just <laughs> keeping it real, I'm gonna get really dark for a second. So eating disorder, trigger warning, trigger warning. Um, okay, so you have recovered from anorexia. That's how I found your channel. Like years ago mm -hmm. was I, you know, have struggled with that my whole life. So I found your channel and you were talking about being a guy and having an eating disorder and how it was kind of you know, embarrassing to talk about and you wanted to make it not embarrassing. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how I found you. The, the sadder version is back when I used to be, <laughs> why am I talking about this? Back when I used to, you know, be um, bulimic, trigger warning, uh, cheesecake was a thing that I would do and you know throw it up but i literally even at my most like binge phase where i could take a lot of food in i could still only get like one piece of that fucking cheesecake factory cheesecake because it's so crazy oh so as how as did you have 300 pieces like the richness of it you mean like it it's was just crazy like, it's yeah. like so intense all yeah. of it the way it settles in you the all way of it. it yeah so over the years with how much i've eaten it's it's more like a like a mental thing with me that like when i get into doing these challenges and stuff i i don't like it just all begins to taste the same and so i usually if i'm doing something like a cheesecake factory challenge where i'm eating all that Ugh. cheesecake i it's called flavor fatigue. So oh. you're just, you're the, the richness just overwhelms your palate so much, so much. And so I usually have something salty. So I'll like, I'll, I'll um, have like uh, some chips, like some salt and vinegar chips Dude, with man. the meal. Um, but, but yeah, it's weird <laughs> because if, if you're watching someone eat every cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory and he just starts bust, like has a thing of, you know, bullet chips on the side, you're like, what the so hell is this fucking person doing? Has like, this, like eating being your job, has it taken away the joy of food in general? Um, I, yes, yes. Uh, really? like with, with not, not with all foods, but with like certain foods, I've most definitely have lot, like one of my favorite things growing up was like McDonald's McGriddles. I used to love, Ooh. fucking love those, but I did a McGriddles challenge, uh, back in 2019, I think. And it was like 50 McGriddles or something like that. And after that, I was like, I cannot fucking stand these things. Like the looking at one, smelling one, it was- it Gets you disgusted. Yeah, yeah, and it's, and it's been- 
<laughs> it's good in that way. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, and bad. it's like, um, but yeah, so like little times like that. But in general, no. Like I, I you know, like I, you know, I, I love food. That's why yeah. I do. So I how do. often are you like super, okay, sorry. I'm thinking about your guys' relationship. Because like when I'm bloated, <laughs> uh, Rylan gets annoyed at me because I'm just like, oh, I'm so, so bloated, whatever. How do you, how, how often are you like that fucking bloated? Miserably and then, how bloated. How do you deal with it as the girl, as his girlfriend? Like, are you like, babe, you're doing the challenge tonight? Like, I want to have a normal night. Like, is it like that? Or like the toilet's going to be clogged? Like, what's the situation? Um, I know it's his job. And so to me, I kind of think of it as, okay, he's going to be filming. I kind of think of it from the start of him going and getting all the food and like filming and eating and everything. Oh, hit the mic. Um, it, it, like he's going to work for three or four days. That's wow. Kind of like oh my how God. I three or four days. Well, I mean like the recovery, the, pr- yeah. Yeah. you yeah. know, but- and so, yeah. So I just kind of think of it as, you know, this is his time to work and you know, it is what it is. Yeah. So there's, yeah. there's no intimacy. <laughs> three to four days. Got it. Um, but Whoa. at the very, at the very start oh, of our oh my gosh. of our journey, one there, time, oh, one time when we first, when we first, so um, I, our we we met through um, Christy. You know, we she's was doing bodybuilding and mm-hmm. all that stuff a few years ago, and she started watching my videos. And it's reality, but there's a like giant chunk of my audience that are bodybuilders that watch because we're starving we yeah. live vicariously yeah they're on super Whoa, low calorie yeah. diets and they same. watch food not videos. a bodybuilder but same. yeah <laughs> and so christy was bought, like training for a show and she messaged me and we started talking on on um instagram. on instagram yeah. and um and so our first date was a food challenge uh, was like you if what? you if you're ever out yeah if you're yeah. ever out in southern california yeah. let's do a food challenge and she's like, like Okay. And I was never expecting to to hear back and she's like sends me a DM like a week or two weeks later and she's like, um actually while well, I'll be out in Southern California or I'll be That's out exactly in how I said LA <laughs> uh, in, in two weeks and I was like I remember seeing it and I was like I was like, Oh shit, like this is wild, like she's actually gonna be here. And I was like, Okay, well we should do a food challenge and so our first date was um it's called like the eighth wonder of the world burger and it's in anaheim and it's like it's a gigantic burger and it's 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 it has it's like a little slider they put like a little slider on top so it's like a cute little like comparison from like a regular burger or giant burger burger to this like little slider on top but uh but it's crazy because that's our first date and it's got like two million views i think right now oh Oh, so this was a video yeah yeah yeah, Yeah. it was full-on video and everything oh yes I don't thought know. it was Definitely. just like a cute thing you guys no. did. Like, no. Come out and we'll do a food challenge. Oh, yeah, no. me too, man. When you said it was for a video, okay, for a video. Yeah, Wait, so, so I then you guys everything. just got so bloated and sick, and yeah. then you were like, she, oh, I did not eat very much. She had I was like just two there bites. to meet him. Yeah, she oh, had yeah. like two bites, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, my but man I was ate. just showing off, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but it was cool. But but so that happened, and then um, she went back to Texas, and I stayed out in, in San Diego, and we were te- talking and everything, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. So I just like, I went from my, drove from my apartment and then our i drove all the way out to texas and our second date uh i just showed up at her door and we went out and got tacos and, and you drove to texas for yeah. a second date yeah i drove to texas did you tell for her ahead of time oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I well, showed up. that could have like, been a creepy move yeah well you know? he was like well i'm thinking about doing a whole food tour in texas and I was like, well, that's, you know. Were it you was really just, like, thinking funny. that, dude? I mean, it, was to- it was totally just to see her again. I have, yeah. I have a similar story because my wife lived in Georgia at the time that we were mm-hmm. dating. And she came out here at the same time I had a show, you know. Oh, okay. And so it kind of worked out that we hung out. And then I looked for the next show that, like, me and her could go to in Atlanta in, like, a month. And I told her, like, oh, yeah, I was going to get tickets to this right, show. Yeah. Like, right, right, right. We should yeah. go. So that's cool, man. Yeah. I like it, that. It, 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 was, it was cool. It worked out. Um, <laughs> but so I did my food tour. And so we went from, like, n- like literally just meeting to, like, actually going and traveling, traveling around and yeah. doing food challenges. And I was doing a food challenge, pro- like, in restaurants, like, w- every day or every other day yeah so to answer your question about like the bathroom thing like so we're very (laughs) new in our relationship and we're traveling together and he's doing these food challenges restaurant challenges back to back i wasn't quite sure to what to expect and it really wasn't like that big of a deal like he's in the bathroom for you know maybe 10 15 minutes we all know exactly what to expect (laughs) (laughs) i mean if my man just ate the world's eighth (laughs) wonder of the burger i think i know what's happening in the bathroom I, i was a little naive like I think it's gonna be the, I just we, were, we, were, we were newer in our relationship yeah. but i just i was just i was 
like I'll, I'll never forget though. We, I did this, um, I did this pizza challenge and, um, she knows where I'm going with this. And, uh, it was a team pizza challenge. It was probably, it was, it was probably, it was like a 30 inch pizza. So it was pretty big. I mean, that's like, I mean, that's probably like a 12,000 calorie pizza. It was huge. So I did wow. it. I did it with a, with another, um, uh, guy who does food challenges. A collab. Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Juan. Uh, and, uh, we, uh, we, we did this pizza, but so I ate my half, he ate his half, we did it and whatever. And this is probably like a, a week or two into our, our little tour that we did. Yeah. And, um, I, we, I don't even know like what was going through my mind, but I was just like, I mean, we were, you know, he's bloated with pizza. I'm bloated with pizza. And he's like, let's have sex. <laughs> and, <laughs> I did not know where that was going. <laughs> and it Dude, bloated. that's like every man's dream to get bloated off pizza. Let's have sex. <laughs> and I respect and it, bro. Is it every time, woman's dream? Like, no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Well, we were fuck new no. in our relationship and I was just like, all okay. right, well, this is the thing. That's the only time. Only time it's ever happened. Wow. Ever. So full circle with all your yeah. questions. Yeah. That had. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are just like goals. <laughs> <laughs> In well, so many ways. Did I ever tell you that uh, you stole a pizza in my heart? Oh. oh! How? What is the recovery like for your stomach? So you're saying it can blow up like a balloon and go back down, but does that mean like your body works differently than everyone else's and it doesn't hold on to yeah, any of the sugar not... or the badness of like some of the fast food? Yeah, like so... diabetes, how do you avoid that? Well, <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'm known for eating a lot of calories but also burn a lot of calories too and i th think right. that's like probably one of the biggest like misconceptions that people have is that like oh this guy either has a really high metabolism or he's just throwing up but is there like health worries about because obviously you're getting it out and you've trained your stomach to mm -hmm. be able to have a capacity to eat fifty thousand pizzas and whatnot but it's still going like through you. your body is absorbing some stuff is mm -hmm. it not i mean um, um most of it yeah take supplements or anything yeah to kind of counterbalance i'm this? kind of a i'm I, a nutrition nut and stuff outside of i can tell I oh did. by the way sorry not to cut you off but just so you know in one of the videos that i was watching last night you were doing like a crazy challenge you know the hundred thousand calorie challenge but every day you were biking a hundred miles oh yeah so i did a ten thousand calorie challenge every day for 10 days in this week's food challenge i'm going to attempt to ride 100 miles Look, she's a hundred fucking to miles. not be obese and do what you do you gotta be a like nut. how sorry so that's what he means yeah. when he's saying he works out a lot yeah, like yeah. He, we're talking like marathons every day you counterbalance <laughs> it well yeah and that's that's one aspect to it but i mean if you're not if you're not doing that kind of activity there's no actual way you could do that and maintain a normal body weight there's just no way. right um but um but yeah so i mean and it's my health is definitely something i have to pay very close attention to i get i get my blood work done quarterly so yeah there's no way i'd be able to do what i do if i wasn't on top of all that stuff so Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but I'm so excited because our first sponsor of the day, please don't leave, don't skip this part, trust me. I have two things to show you. <laughs> <laughs> two things to show you that I'm really excited about. Okay, so Ridgewalt, we've talked about them a million times. I love them so much. One of my favorite sponsors ever. One of my longest sponsors and a product I use every single day. I love my Ridge Wallet. Obviously, you guys know it has RFID blocking technology, so you can't get your identity stolen from people walking past you at the airport or in public, like digital pickpocketers. I was just at the airport this week and I was so nervous. And then I was like, oh, I got my Ridge Wallet. I'm fine. So anyways, let me get to it. So. Ridge Wallet, they sent me two new ones for Father's Day. They're having a big Father's Day sale, which I'll talk about in a minute. But they sent me their two new Father's Day designs and they're so beautiful. I love them. Oh my God, it matches my hair. This is <laughs> this is their new uh, leather. Ooh, their brown leather Ridge Wallet on the back. Look at that cash strap. And it, it feels so like, ooh, it feels like a couch. And then they have their black leather. Oh yeah. So beautiful. So yeah, these are their two new designs and they're having the biggest sale of the year for Father's Day. Now I've talked about that before. This is a perfect dad gift, whether it's your dad's birthday, Christmas, Father's Day. Literally, it does not get more perfect because dads love this shit. They love telling their friends about it. They love being like, oh yeah, my Ridge wallet. Like they love it. It comes with a little tool to like screw in and like make it tighter. They love it. They also sell their key cases, which I've shown you guys before. My favorite is burnt titanium. That's really awesome. Keeps all your keys in place. Your dad will love that. And if you don't have a dad or if like Father's Day isn't a thing for you, then like who cares? You know what I mean? Get it for your mom. <laughs>
<laughs> just kidding. You don't have to. I mean, they have pink ones. Also, Ridge is so confident that you will love your wallet. They're giving you 99 days to try it out. And if you hate it, you can send it back and get a full refund. So please support them. Go get a Father's Day gift or just a wall for yourself. Go to ridge.com slash grower and you can save up to 40% through June 15th. That's ridge.com slash grower. So thank you so much, Ridge, for sponsoring this video and for being a sponsor for such a long time. And um, yeah, I hope you guys love their wallets as much as I do. Seriously, I love it. I use it every day. I know it sounds fake, but like, I need to tell you guys how much I love this thing. Like, I'm not just saying it. <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. What's like the community like? Like, so you're in a community on YouTube that I've, I've never been in that one before. <laughs> so it's like a very specific, like, so there's food challenge people, there's mukbang people, there's people who like Nikocado who just eats like tons of stuff and slaps his husband. <laughs> No! That's a category of a That's own. a video? <laughs> yes! Uh, Someone just eats a bunch yes. of food and slaps somebody? An icon. I just um, want to see icon. the end. So there's, yeah. different, the man. there's different like categories. So in your category, so are you like compet you like hang out with all the other challenge people? Do you all oh. so there's drama? Like where's the drama at in this community? There's I, I don't like, I, I eat that pizza first. No, it's not like that. I think that it's um, who can eat the most pizza. Right. Oh. It's it's all like who can eat the most and who's I mean it's and who can. Is it you? Uh I I can eat a lot. I won't say I can eat the most. Mm. Um I would answer that I'm in like the um, competitive eating community like a few years ago, but I feel like I've kind of wanted to like separate myself from that because this is probably a controversial thing to say in like the world of competitive eating, but I think competitive eating itself is kind of gross to watch. <laughs> Like it is. I mean, it's not I like agree. watching someone eat eighty hot dogs and dunking them all in water and just getting. Oh, it's gross. just. It's 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 not something that I like. I would want to watch. So I just don't kind of make that. I don't make that content. I, I like don't like to eat at restaurants because I just don't like to watch people eat in general. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. I so, do yeah. appreciate that your edit. First of all, your the editing of your videos is insane. So uh, good. Thank you. Earlier, I asked you off camera. I was like, who edits your videos? Because they're insane. And you were like, I do. Like you edit your own stuff, and it's incredible. But you. Thankfully, you edit around the chewing. Like, you always speed through it so that, like, you, you know, it's not gross. I liked it, yeah. You have this thing that's my favorite thing of all time, and I can't believe I haven't done it yet in this podcast. But you do this thing where when you like something, you go... And a little fire comes up. <laughs> Loved it. So throughout this podcast, you know, if you feel, you know, inspired to fire, Just throw fire, like, let it go. So, yeah. But I will say, I do remember now that I said drama. I tried it. Listen, after 2020, no more drama for me. But what I will say is I accidentally got involved into food drama like 10 years ago because I was watching a food girl and she was like eating a lot and she was really skinny. And I'm like, how is she doing this? But then I would notice there was like cuts, mm. like a lot of cuts. Mm -hmm. And it was, and I never saw her swallow. And then I was like, oh my God, I think she's cutting yeah. out all of her. I think she's spitting in a cup. Spitters are fucking quitters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Love then that I shit. like made a joke about it in a video and then it like turned into a thing and then she like made a video like it was like a whole thing and I felt so bad I was involved in all this weird food drama and Shane's like sorry I just do it too I know I was like <laughs> I just do it but so like is that a thing like oh 100% yeah you're like oh there's some well, I mean, fucking spit well we were doing a, a food network thing a few years ago mm -hmm. and when you see that's how it's actually done on like TV TV. What do you mean? Well, you watch like, uh, I probably won't, I won't say I don't show. know if I want to no, hear this. We won't say yeah, specifically, I, yeah, but. Yeah, well, we won't say which show, Food but Food Network like, drama? I'm in. I mean, <laughs> there's, uh, there's, I mean, shows like where there's chefs and they're making dishes for all the other chefs or those types of shows. If like, you okay. tell me Bobby Flay is involved in any of these shenanigans, I'm we gonna know, I'm not we gonna don't know. We don't know him specifically. Okay, because Bobby Flay is my man. Yeah, Bobby Flay is the man. Okay, and no one beating Bobby Flay. Right, right, right. But I mean, when you're when you're watching it and like you're consuming it like you're you're seeing everything you're not thinking about the fact that they're probably not actually eating that oh so um so yeah we did something a few years ago where we like actually saw it in person we were on the set and we were like literally seeing it and we we're just like oh it's devastating actually, wow. it's not yeah. actually real and like so, spit buckets um is that what you're talking about um yeah i there's it, baking or like um on food network the where they like cook they're like making their own recipes and that type of stuff there's been employees that have come out and have said that the chefs don't even eat their own cooking yeah and when you yeah. hear stuff like that it kind of changes like your perspective on whoa yeah like like tv tv where it's actual shows where you're like whoa i thought that was like, completely real are oh. you telling me guy theory doesn't try all those diners drive-ins and drives i mean because <laughs> that would ruin my life <laughs>
Oh, you think he has? A, you know, he doesn't have a spit cup. I haven't even thought of Guy Fieri. <laughs> you haven't? I think about him every day. I'm on Bobby Flay still, dude. Oh, okay. I remember. Fuck. Um, I've I've literally had people tell me that I'm spitting my food into cups. The cups that I use, and I'm like, look, bro, I don't know how you could spit uh, 50 pieces of KFC chicken into this cup, right. but I mean, if you want, like, I do. We, it's <laughs> just, it, it's, it, but at the end of the day, it's like, it, it's kind of, a, I, it's kind of a compliment. When you do a right. challenge, though, like gaining 31 pounds in a day, there's really no hiding around that, you yeah. know? How yeah. do you sleep? Like when your stomach is that big, I mean, I know how I sleep. <laughs> but my stomach is that big. Um, but like when your stomach is that big and you're that full, like how do you sleep? Um, like, do you feel like you're, dying? you're just pacing around your bedroom, like God, I'm just thinking about me it. last night after Mission Burrito, and I was gonna have a heart attack yeah. all night. How do you do it? When I have a full stomach, I sleep so good. <laughs> I sleep I'm with full? you. Yeah, I'm with you. Well, not yeah. not that full, okay, but right, like right, right. I mean, like I can't sleep if I am not like fully, you know, satisfied. But um, most of my food, like day to day, when it's not food challenges, I usually just eat more at night so I can sleep better. So I'm used to going to bed like really full oh in and of God. itself. When we yeah, were first too. dating, he <laughs> had some really weird, like normal food eating habits where he would eat like a pound of celery and like four apples and like four pears, just like all these like really like high volume fibrous stuff so he could <laughs> feel so full. And I was like, this is like so you could super feel odd. Full. Like yeah. he, it, he, it takes a lot for him to feel satisfied. Like on a, on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. it's like my, my capacity fluctuates. Like now it's probably around like 14 or 15 pounds, but like it's uh, like in order like to fill all of that up, it, you I mean, you got to get the, like, I'm not going to eat cheeseburgers. You Your know? capacity. So you can take 15 pounds of food. Have you, you've like weighed, well, I guess, yeah, you weigh yourself. Uh -huh. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, that's kind of just like a normal <laughs> thing, crazy. but the average person, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, like what the actual number is, but like, uh, like the human stomach, I think can take like three, two or three pounds of, of food. And like, so like, yeah, I mean, you may be able to eat more than you think Whoa. you can. Mm -hmm. So yeah your your food capacity chris maybe oh. much bigger yeah i mean i don't know it's a lot for sure i had like 10 slices of pizza a second ago i don't know <laughs> like rylan's is small I, I feel rylan's like... is very small yeah. <laughs> okay i prepared something specifically for you Ooh. uh but also for all of us because it is the weirdest food facts i could find about popular restaurants and chains so I've, i wonder if you're going to know some of these because i feel like you've eaten everything so i'm either going to blow your mind or you're going to already know these <laughs> Okay, Subway is the largest restaurant chain in the world. There's more Subways in the world than there are McDonald's. 100%, yeah. How? Can you believe that? There's a Subway in every gas station. I feel like you, oh. if you just drive across the United States, you'll see so many Subways like in random parts of like mm. everywhere. It's I, crazy. I, okay, I would, second fact, this one freaks me I love me out. Subway. I'm just trying to get that spot. <laughs> okay, IHOP adds pancake batter to their omelets uh, to make them fluffier. Mm. Mm. That sounds great. Sounds genius. <laughs> but then I looked at a picture of it and I was like, oh my God, it makes sense. Cause uh, they're, look at their fucking omelets. They look like, like a bean, bean and cheese burrito. <laughs> I feel like we're all doing omelets wrong. Well, I, I feel like they're right. It's not that gross. It's just crazy to think about. Like I they're mean, putting pancakes in it. I mean, they're delicious and <laughs> that's all that right? matters. Okay, this one's about KFC. Now I really looked into this one cause when I heard it, you know, I, <laughs> I was so shocked and horrified. And I found a lot of people saying this is true. This person said, I worked at KFC for four years. The barbecue sandwich is actually made from chicken that's too old and stale to give to homeless shelters. So they soak it in barbecue sauce until it can be pulled apart. <laughs> And then they keep it on a heater for a month. I fully believe it. For a month? <laughs> Come on, like four days. And then somebody commented and said, yep, I've worked there too for uh, three years. They also put that nasty old chicken in their pot pies. Oh, You love KFC. KFC. I know, you're a KFC boy. I love KFC, but that, I don't know. I, I can't. I don't. I, I can't take those the uh, like those kind of like things seriously. seriously. Yeah, because right. I mean that sounds like someone who just got fired, and they don't they don't like. They don't I don't like know KFC. about the logistics of letting chicken sit and how big of well, a spot you need to listen, keep heated for the 30 sitting hours. for a month sounds like a joke to me. Yeah, but do you really think that when they have like Wendy's, we talked about in the last episode, when they oh, don't the chili, when they don't sell their burgers, they put yeah. in chili. So do you think that KFC, yeah, if they have old chicken, yeah, I mean they've got to find ways to effectively put it somewhere, use their scraps. Okay, this isn't really a fact. I just got excited when I found this out because it uh, something I never actually thought about. 
one. But okay, how many different shapes of McDonald's chicken nuggets mm. do you think there are? Does anybody know? I know this? there's like the boot. <gasps> then there's oh God, like no. I I there I don't the oval five. Know. Three. <laughs> I think there's four. Okay. Infinity. Jared, you would be right. Yes, there's the bone, which I guess is supposed to be kind of like shaped like a bone. Oh. The boot, the ball, and the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I did not Dude, know that. Because the, the, the ball, best. the balls, fuck like. that. Doesn't fit in the fucking fuck, dip. Yeah, it's fucking no. up my sauce. Uh -huh. The bell. <laughs> the bell, then, like, you, you dip and then you bite. And Am then I you stupid? Have a weird... I don't see yes, the bell. Like, I don't excess see the bell. on the top that's not dippable. But yeah. the boot, you could just get it yes. so much a bap 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 in one scoop. It's Fuck perfect. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> at fast food and chain restaurants, the grill marks that you see on chicken are uh, drawn on. They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> because all those restaurants get the chicken from the manufacturer who actually cooks it with blasts of hot air. <laughs> so, the <laughs> Which kind of makes sense to me. Because yeah, like you're not seeing McDonald's putting chicken on grills when you really think about it. Because grilled chicken is something I get at most restaurants. Yeah, there's no actual grilled chicken anywhere except for like fancy restaurants. I mean, I Googled it and the first thing that came up was a lot of the frozen meat that ends up in chain restaurants goes through a branding machine that applies near perfect grill marks. Mm, interesting. So, <laughs> that one seems true. I don't know why that creeps me out so it, much, but we all just, yeah. why do they do it? Yeah, it's probably a psychological thing where you see the grill marks and you're like, oh, it must have been made fresh. I'm no, very picky no. about where I'll get chicken. Yeah. Like, I'll trust a Chick-fil-A or a KFC, but I'm not getting, like, chicken from any place. You trust the KFC? Oh, yeah. The That's the one you trust? Yeah, because they, like, specialize more so in chicken. No, Have I'm you, saying... Were you here five minutes ago? Yes, I was. <laughs> but we believe in KFC, the two of us. Yep, KFC is the shit. For you guys. El Pollo, El Pollo Loco is also the <laughs> shit. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shit. Uh, but, like, Taco Bell chicken, you, I'll be dead before I consume Taco I'll Bell chicken. I'll eat 7-Eleven chicken before <laughs> I get Taco Bell chicken. Um, okay, this one made me laugh. So Pizza Hut, before 2013, Pizza Hut was the number one purchaser of kale. Uh, and But they didn't actually serve kale. It was just because they used it for decorations at their salad bars. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, that's so true. I grew up looking at kale all the time. I didn't know you can even eat that. And then I was like, kale is the shit that comes with the food that you don't fucking eat. And now I order kale salad. Oh really no. My brain. You eat kale salads? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. I Why? What's wrong with kale? They hold the dress. Oh. It's really good for you. Well. Wait, what's your beef with kale? It's actually funny because if I eat raw kale, it fucks my stomach up more than most. That's what does it? Well, there's... <laughs> The kale, no, believe no. it or not, kale's no. uh, kale's a really dense source of um, fiber, fiber oxalates, which oh, are no. really they they're just not good to. I, I like yeah. can't move if I eat too much kale of a kale awareness. salad. Yeah, I'm like kale's wow. kale's rough. Okay, our next sponsor of the day is once again one of my favorites, Buffy. So as you guys already know, Buffy makes the best bedding in the world. I can't actually legally say that, but they make my favorite bedding in the world, and it's as soft on you as it is on the earth. So Buffy specializes in many things, but the one thing that they do so much better than everybody else, in my personal opinion, is their cooling bedding. Their Breeze Comforter, which we've talked about, their Breeze Sheet Set. All of their Breeze items are incredible, life-changing, will change the game when it comes to sweating in your bed, leaving big yellow sweat marks on the sheets, which I used to do before Breeze. So if you're a hot sleeper like me, you really should try it out because the Breeze Comforter is amazing. They also have a lot of other things, not just Breeze stuff. That's the stuff I like the most. They also have so much other bedding, beautiful colors, designs, like they have a lot. And they're just a really great company with really nice people. Like I've talked to like the heads of the company multiple times. They've just been so sweet and like cool. And like the CEO of this company is the one that I communicate with. And he communicates with other, you know, podcasters. Like he's that involved and invested in his company. It's just really cool. So I love them. Please support them. They're a great company. They deserve success. I love them so much. So anyways, what was I saying? Yes, they offer a free seven night at home trial. So you can experience Buffy before committing to buying it. They also offer a hundred night free return policy. So if you aren't happy with it, you can send it and get a full refund. But trust me, that won't happen. So for 15% off of your Buffy order, go to Buffy.co, not .com, it's .co, and enter farmer at checkout. <laughs> Sorry, that's the first farmer we've done so far. We wanted to switch it up. We've been doing grower and then they were like, do you want to try a new code just to switch it up? And I was like, farmer. So that's Buffy.co and use code farmer at checkout for 15% off. So thank you Buffy so much for being such an awesome sponsor for being with us since the very beginning of the show. And um, yeah, I love you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy Buffy and I will see you later. That was a weird ending. It's like three in the morning. I'm gonna go dive into my breeze comforter with my Ridge wallet, both of them. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Bye. <laughs> okay, so obviously you guys know about like colors and what colors mean in fast food, and why they do it. <laughs> you guys <laughs> are like colors, right? <laughs> yeah, you know about colors, <laughs> right on. Okay, so I mean, I feel like most people know the obvious ones, right? Like the reason that fast food places use red, yellow, and orange is to I make have people no idea. hungry. To make people hungry. Yeah. What? It makes you hung. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, it makes you hungry. Red makes me hungry? Red, yellow, and orange. They make you hungry. They increase your blood pressure. Dude, just looking at you right now is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and shirt. that's why when you look at, obviously, you look at all the different yeah. fast foods, they're mm -hmm. all red, yellow, and orange. Mm -hmm. You didn't I know that? No. Also, at fast food restaurants, they make the seats really hard and uncomfortable so that you leave because they don't want you hanging oh. out all the time, which makes sense. And yeah. the colors red uh, makes you uh, kind of feel anxious and like you have to get out of there. So that's another reason they make it red. Um, also, and this is another side note, and this is kind of like fucked up to, to think about, and this isn't confirmed, but the red and the yellow and the uh, orange triggers feelings of nostalgia and childhood. Even if you didn't eat at fast food when you were a kid, just because when you drive by it, you see it so much when you're a kid and it just sticks into your brain. Uh, fancy restaurants, they use darker colors like dark red, dark orange, dark brown, because those colors make you relaxed. It makes you want to stay there and eat for a long period of time. And then healthy restaurants use green because it makes you feel like you're eating healthy, even if you're not. So, fuck yeah. Wow. Like and Jamba then, Juice. Yep. I get like a thousand calorie shake that I'm such a health nut. <laughs> <laughs> like 60 grams of sugar. Blast. When I was like a 400 pound 16 year old. <laughs> That's a reality show. Uh, peanut butter mood. I really oh, thought. Oh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm getting a smoothie. I'm so healthy. Good. So healthy. The peanut butter mood. So yeah. Fuck. I like though if I eat an apple and drink a bottle of water, I feel like the whole day is okay now. It's like I'm yes. healthy. I'm okay. I, I'm a health <laughs> Same. Same. Um, and This isn't My a fact. fact. This is not a fact. This is just something that I thought about and it made me laugh because <laughs> when I was little. To me, a fancy there was a fancy restaurant that opened up in Long Beach, and it was a place where you could go and you could. Uh, they had peanuts everywhere, and you would eat the peanut and throw the shell on the ground. The roadkill roadhouse grill. Texas, oh, Texas roadhouse. Yeah. Yes. Roadhouse, yeah. So when I was a kid, it was like, oh, we're too poor to go there. I want to go so bad, and we went there like one time, and it was like such an experience. And then I started thinking about it as an adult, and I was like, that's fucking gross. Yep. And like, then who has to clean them up? So that then I started looking at pictures, and I was like, oh, this is like, <laughs> this is the fucking oh my God. gross. Gross. Like, there's yeah. nothing grosser than a fucking <laughs> like imagine you're on a date and you look down and that's your fucking view. It's all the fucking <laughs> and there's no way they can ever get them all no. up. So, so there's like molding peanuts. So oh. is this something yeah. have you guys been to restaurants like this? Yeah, Texas Roadhouse. It's I love Texas Roadhouse, but yeah. Mm -hmm. but I don't I don't think Texas I didn't, Roadhouse I didn't really has think it about like it, though. that though. No. Well, they do like provide like buckets for yes. it, but you know, little like everybody's like, oh, you know, no. it's all over the floor. No, these these places are specifically like, we want throw your shells mm -hmm. on the floor. Yeah. Which also is weird because it's like you're going there and you're paying a lot of money to eat there, but also it's like, are you paying to just be a piece of shit so you can you just throw <laughs> shit everywhere? Can you just spit whatever food you want out? Like? <laughs> and also, and also you're, you you're sticking your hands into yeah, the peanuts gross, that right? everybody else touches mm -hmm. too. Yeah. That's so oh, gross. So oh, it's like communal peanuts? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a good gimmick. They, have, like, yeah, big, big they have big barrels um, peanuts, yeah. as you're like waiting to get seated. Like huge oh. barrels so everybody can just stick their Man, hands COVID in and whatever they want. Fuck them all. Yeah. Wow. It is nice to feel like you're allowed to rebel though because you like can't litter or you can't just throw things on the floor at your own house unless you want to pick it up. So it is a nice gimmick. If someone wanted that experience with me, I'd be like, dude, we can just like sit on our patio and throw as many people. <laughs> yeah, for free. And pick them up. This next one really got me thinking and I hope it gets you thinking too because Ooh. you've dealt with so much poop. <laughs> <laughs> so much poop. Okay, so it has been scientifically proven. So this isn't even a theory. It's been scientifically proven that bookstores <laughs> instantly make you feel like you have to shit. Isn't that crazy? Is the smell think, of books? Think back to it. The last time you were at a Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Nobles or Borders or anything, don't you remember having to shit? Fucking this is it? the worst episode ever if somebody's <laughs> eating dinner with us. <laughs> I usually, because I don't like to look at books, I usually just grab something from the Starbucks in there. But I, I don't think mm -hmm. I pooped. Oh, oh, I just have to ask, how is how has this been scientifically okay. proven? <laughs> I just want to know that. Why would you ask such a yeah. question? Like, are they okay. 
So a doctor came out about it because it was like it was a funny rumor. There, I didn't write it down, but there is a term for it. There's like an actual scientific term for the feeling you get when you have to poop in a bookstore, and it's the same feeling you get when you have to poop in a library. There's different theories, but this doctor was saying when you're in a bookstore, it's really quiet, and you get really anxious because you start thinking, oh. I don't want to be too loud. I'm breathing too loud. Mm-hmm. You're like overthinking about it. Everybody's being really quiet, so you have this anxious inducing thing which starts churning your stomach. <laughs> And then you get that, and then that turns into a fear of like, I really hope I don't have to poop or something. And then that starts to, it almost, your brain creates mm. this feeling of, I got to, f-. then it turns to diarrhea. Like, oh my God, I wow. have diarrhea. Shane, it kind of sounds dark. like this has happened a few times. <laughs> it has. I, think, it has. I think you have to have a prerequisite to experience this. You've never, because I, I walk into Barnes and Nobles and I just think, I'm going to get a cookie and something to drink, you know? <laughs> I don't wow. even think about it, and then I play and chess on my phone or something. Specific to the people that have the fear of the quiet. I don't see, have yeah. a fear of quiet. I literally just, I have multiple times in my brain where I've been in bookstores, and I've been like, I need to shit. Maybe it's yeah. whatever they're pumping and through then, their vents. I just try to find ways to scare Sandy. Like, if she's not, you know, she's like looking at the book in the aisle, and like sneak up on her like, hey, you know, like shit like that. It's just fun. I'm having fun with myself. Well, you honestly, know? a lot of things can make you feel like you have to poop. But that makes sense, though, with, with the quiet and then that causing anxiety Oof. coffee does the same exact thing it makes people anxious if you drink too much of it and you just mm. there you go oh, that's why coffee makes you poop yep i never fucking knew that yep. wait i thought it was because is that a fact it's up. the caffeine i thought um, it was because it was hot uh, that's a factor in it making you have to poop the caffeine is definitely a, a big part of it too when you're drinking coffee yeah. it can make you more anxious and right. that anxiety can lead to that but i you know i'm not 100 sure but that's yeah. a theory okay my final little fact is something that i was kind of surprised about so where do you think the world's most unhealthy fries are from? What are we, how are we, what, what is unhealthy? Yeah. Calorie wise. Okay. Caloric value. Um, fast food wise? Yes. No, McDonald's is too obvious, right? It's not. <laughs> um, is it, is it like a. Well, keep talking about it. I'm, is is I'm it like, a fast food place? Is it a fast food place that you, that is everywhere? Like in certain parts I of the US? I don't know. I've never had it before. What would you oh, Okay, so. If, she knows because she saw the bags coming in. <laughs> Oh, really? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> so you they can get are, it, it totally makes sense, though. So you can get it in California. It yes. makes sense. They're 1,500 sense. calories and oh, 71 grams fuck? of fat. Oh, don't tell me that. I oh, did not sorry. know that. <laughs> wow. Did he just, just ruin your life? You just completely ruined my life. For what life? size? That's a whole video. For what size I is think that? they just come in one size. What? Wow. What are we they talking in, about? They come in a cup, and then they... Dump oh, a bunch in the bag. Five guys. <laughs> five guys. The most unhealthy fries in America. Oh, and yeah. we have them all oh, for us. No way. Guys. I've never had them before. So I need to them. try it. You never had see. five guys? No. I've never tried it. So I want to know like what makes it unhealthy. I want to see if I can taste them. I think it's the sheer volume, isn't it? It's, like, it's you, like, soggy. They pounds. literally throw every fry they possibly can in that bag. That's why we love five they, guys. They told me the first time I went there not to order the large because I ordered it there. You yeah. don't need that. Yeah, it's for like three people. And that's me saying that. And then you know how you can leave a note on the on like really? the board. Bring the whole bag out. I need to get the full well, no, Everybody's getting cups. I left a note. Uh, you don't need to get a large. You know, that was my note on the wall because you don't. You should do you an know? only. Do you have an OnlyFans? Yeah. I feel Ooh. like everybody does. Yeah, I was on the fence with this. You should because... do an OnlyFans where you shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been For the thinking... people that want to see the app. <laughs> So I like the pre-food conversation. I get a lot of I get nice. a lot of people who want to see what my belly looks like. Like I've been showing it. <laughs> like I'll show it. Um, I'll show it in like after the challenge and stuff. But then I get I have like just ten random people that really want me to like start making like more content out of it. Dude. So they want me to make OnlyFans. They like I have this guy that message messages me on on Instagram all the time, and he's just like, Hey, daddy. <laughs> Uh, show more of your belly next time. Oh my and god! It's, it's, but there's people that are into that kind of stuff, and um, what do you show him? Oh, I definitely don't. For how much? <laughs> I do you definitely just don't. show. What do they want to see? Just your stomach? I guess my stomach. With uh, your stomach? With, I mean, yeah. I mean, I I hope <laughs> they don't expect me to be jerking off, but definitely <laughs> stomach stuff. But OnlyFans. But well, yeah, could you I'm, do an OnlyFans where you no, just show you your stomach? No, you can do OnlyFans. If you, you do it on OnlyFans, like because you just said you don't think they're beating their meat to it. Well, I mean, I honestly. Oh, they definitely are. Oh, the second you start. OnlyFans, you're acknowledging they're all beating their meat to Right. Them. They're doing that regardless. And honestly, might as well get paid. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> people are into weird stuff and people, you know, can do whatever oh they want. God. And um, yeah, but we were, I think we were watching the last episode of this, whichever ones you guys, you talked about OnlyFans recently. And I was, it got me thinking like, I could actually just do OnlyFans and just Dude. take new photos of my stomach. 
Because I mean, you know, it's not Honestly, that big. Honestly, listen, you should. If yeah. I, if somebody was like, I want to see your stomach, I would be on OnlyFans tomorrow. <laughs> if everybody wanted to see my weird stomach. Well, I, I talked about just being fat and bloated on a couch, laying there watching TV. Like two people messaged me like, dude, you doing it or what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> if there's two people out there that actually yes. have motivation to pay to watch me be fat and bloated on the couch watching TV. You got 10 people already, bro. I think you'll wow. kill it. I'll consider it. The other one yeah. is um, I should take pictures of my poop and just put it on one <laughs> We could do it. Wow. Yeah. Two? Literally, I get that every day. There's more than, there's like multiple that want that. that? Oh, I, I, I get it you every day. You watch that? You should sell your know. poop. <laughs> I have to Oh my God. I Let's mean, try some fries. Yay. Um, okay, so wait, there's two. I think one of them is Cajun the and Cajun's one is better. normal. Cajun's so is Cajun probably more unhealthy so let's start with a regular so that we regular? can build our way up to greatness i love french fries should i eat this like a civilized general. human being or well how would you uh, i mean oh, oh you're just going oh. in. Mm. <laughs> that's how i want to eat food all the time i'm not mad about not wearing headphones why do i feel like it's bland mm. this is not yeah. giving me like i the feel most like they're, they're like the uh, a lot more like greasy than regular yeah fries. they're pretty they're not that exciting. Okay, I'm a no, big no. size. I'm a size king when it comes to fucking <laughs> fries, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. And like, I need this is my minimum fry length for proper dippery. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. Dippery, dippery dot. Like, I like them. <laughs> I think they're great. Dippery dot. And I it needs to be a certain leverage. These are not great. The thing about Five Guys fries is that they're too soggy. They're kind of like, boring. That's, yeah, that's kind of why in and out is better. Is that like better. their thing? Okay. Right. Am, Am I getting into these Cajun? Are good or no? No. I like them. Yeah, I like her. Oh, what? Wait, you like did them, we do right? Cajun already? I only so, did regular. So, I mean, like, we did Postmate them, like, an hour like ago. when you when you're at the counter and <laughs> you see. get there's, them, they're good. There are certain foods that if I order, I'm like, I'll preheat my oven because okay. I know I need to reheat it. I would throw these in the air fryer. Can we hit up the Cajun now? I feel bad saying that I don't really like these because I want to like these. Maybe if I just, like, maybe if I just filled this with ranch and mixed it around. I don't know what's wrong they're, with you guys. Yeah. I like them. Their no, burgers are incredible, but I don't know. These are Right? Not, burgers are good. The burgers are very good, but these are... Uh, I don't I, taste I the it. unhealthiness. Like, I'm not like, oh my God. Yeah. They're like sogging in grease. Yep. Did you not see the bags? Well, congrats, five guys, on being the most unhealthy fries <laughs> in the world. <laughs> congrats. You guys really look great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sorry to interrupt the show. I promise I'll stop doing this, but I want to give some love to our sponsor, SeatGeek. So as you guys already know, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. They have over 28 million downloads. Everybody uses SeatGeek. I mean, I, legally, I probably shouldn't say everybody, but everybody should use SeatGeek. It's an amazing app. It's so smart. Even for somebody like me who doesn't like leave the house very much, Ryland loves leaving the house and he uses SeatGeek all the time. <laughs> No, I do use SeatGeek though. I mean, my favorite game to play, this is a side note, we've talked about this before, is going on the SeatGeek app. And they have so many different types of shows, concerts, entertainment events. Pretty much anything you could think of is on SeatGeek if it's an entertainment event. My favorite thing to do is to go to like, whoever's the hot new artist or like the hot new concert happening that everybody's talking about. I wanna go and see how much the tickets are because I'm just curious. And they do this thing where if it's a good value, like if it's a good price and you should get the ticket, they'll give you a little green dot. If it's a bad price and it's not a good value, they'll give you a little red dot. So watch out for that because that'll actually help you. Now, my favorite game is to just look at all the red dots and see how crazy some of these ticket prices are and like, what? How is this happening? Why? Who would pay $6,000 to go see a concert? I don't know. Hmm. So I was just thinking about Britney's comeback tour and I was like, I mean, maybe. <laughs> Hmm. No, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. With artists like Beyonce, SZA, Fall Out Boy, and Ed Sheeran, pretty much anybody you could think of is on this app, so go check it out. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So SeatGeek is giving you guys $20 off of your first order if you use code GROWER. So just check out the link in the description below, that'll take you to the app. And yeah, use code GROWER for $20 off of your first order. So thank you so much to Zeke Geek for sponsoring this show. And thank you guys for supporting them. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Oh, I have a question for you. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so before the show, we were talking about how you used to work at Disney World. Yes. So I'm sure you know about all the theories about Disney World mm -hmm. and like that people aren't allowed to die at Disney World. So like if somebody's dead or dying, they have to like wheel them out of Disney World. So they die outside of it. <laughs> what? Do you know what I mean? Because they want to keep it like nobody's ever died here. They they will move things out very quickly. <laughs> like, so it's really. It's, no hesitation. It's, I like it's it. It's so <laughs> fun because when you it's do so your fun. Disney. No, I'm sorry. When you do your Disney conspiracies, I'm always on the couch. I'm like, I have so many 
many things I want to tell oh, them. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, so when I was working there, we actually went through trainings with like, okay, this is what happens if this situation happens. So nice. I worked in Magic Kingdom, but Ooh. with uh, obviously you make friends with everybody who works in the parks, right? And so Magic Kingdom's going to have different protocols than Animal Kingdom, for example. Rivalries. Right? Not necessarily rivalries, rivalries, just like different situations. So <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so Animal Kingdom obviously has animals, right? Okay. So if you notice when you go to Animal Kingdom, there are doors on all the bathrooms, but there's no doors on any of the bathrooms in any of the parks, like the entrance going into the bathrooms. Okay. So there's doors um, in Animal Kingdoms oh because God. if like animals were to like get out or anything like that, everybody is supposed to go to the bathrooms, shut the door and lock it. No fucking yeah. way. Yes. Yeah, so like that's, a lion on the loose. Yeah, something like that. And so they use the bathrooms <laughs> as like shelters. Wait, okay. Oh okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So say we're in a Disney meeting right now, we're talking about what would happen. If a lion comes, <laughs> what would happen? Everybody go to the nearest like just But they don't the tell show. us that, like the customers. Well, no. no, so like the, the people working, the employees would usher people okay. like, hey, we've bathroom. got something we need to like or wherever they're if you're closest to the bathroom, like go into the bathroom and shut the Do door. Do you have to save the customer first? Or okay, say a line is running at a group of customers. <laughs> Are you in that fucking bathroom locked up? Or do you have to try to save them first? Like the Titanic? Hell no. Um, I'm getting oh, in the she, bathroom, dude. I'll tell you right now. She's this in the bathroom. This isn't anywhere in my life. <laughs> she's going straight The, the employment's first. off at that Fuck point. That. We know that where the shelter is yeah. and we're locked in there. Totally. Um, <laughs> the other situation, which is like super interesting, is that so in Animal Kingdom, I don't know if you've ever done the ride where you, you're you in a car and it's obviously like open and somebody's yeah. actually driving. You've got somebody who's actually driving. Well, there's yes. a part where you cross over a bridge and there's alligators underneath right uh -huh. so there is a protocol because this has happened where like um little kids are hanging on <gasps> the sides and parents no. aren't you know paying attention and a little kid fell over and the driver is instructed to gas it as fast as possible so nobody can see oh what happened. no, no fucking way. way what the fuck what well, what? well, if you think They're about not it, to try to save the baby. If, well, if the if the baby goes down, there's all those alligators. There's no saving it. <gasps> yeah, so they're instructed to like hit you the might gas have just and said. And you know what? That would probably uh, people might want to help and put others in danger. Yeah, yeah. So like, exactly. I do understand yeah. the logic, but that shit seems like pretty I'm, fucked up. I'm gonna say this. I have been doing the internet. I've been wanting to tell this story for so long. <laughs> for like almost new. 20 years. <laughs> That was by far the craziest thing yeah. I've ever heard in my entire life. That was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You've never even told me. <laughs> yes. speed Major. Up. No, I have. Second but... the baby's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> they have to hit fucking burn fucking rubber. Instead of that being the protocol, they should just say no fucking kids on the ride. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like there's anywhere to go but slightly down from there? Like with what you know about Disneyland? I mean, yeah, what's that's next? pretty fucking major. I mean, uh, I do get it, but it just to hear them say like yeah and if you're driving just gas it imagine being that driver imagine you know? yeah. being that baby <laughs> wait so yeah. imagine yeah. being the mom <laughs> also baby you're like what? Yeah. so is there underground tunnels yes what really 100 percent so who's allowed just employees so what happens is that magic kingdom is the only one that has the underground tunnels okay um because when walt disney was designing the parks he didn't want the costumes to cross oh. you know like Frontierland and uh, then you know the show oh, okay. that type of stuff but all the other um parks they're all same costumes right yeah and so so magic kingdom they designed a tunnel system and so as employees whether it's your vehicle or you get taken on a bus but you go through security and you go to the back of the park and then you drive down under the kingdom and then it's like there's people there's a subway down there of all no things. yeah uh-huh so it's and it's like seriously it smells it smells like garbage like it's, <laughs> it's like because you because you smell all the you know the trash that's coming down. Ew. Yeah, it's like it's totally like a thriving wow. city underneath. Whoa. Wow. Magic Kingdom. Well, so that sounds like okay, I mean, I I so we go back and forth because I I think that there's some deep shit going on and she's always tells me like, "Oh, it's If it's there not is, like, I've never seen it." But what about I'm just going to put this out there. What about the tunnels beneath the underground tunnels? I don't what? think so. There's probably some I I mean, I just remember stumbling upon this Reddit thread probably like, I mean, 
well, way before I met you, like years and years ago about this guy that said that there was like a trap door in um, It's a Small World. The way that he wrote this made it sound like it was completely real. He was like saying that, you know, where the door was located on the ride and then he like fell into this trap door and then found like kids underneath the fucking uh, ride and stuff and he got like chased out by this dude with a gun and like all this shit, but just like random details. It made it sound like it was really 100% real. And so ever since I read that thread, I've every time we go to Disneyland, I'm like- Looking? I'm looking. I'm like, man, this shit's, there's some shit going on for sure. I mean, didn't he, Walt Disney built it to be like a weird fake world, right? Mm -hmm. Like, weren't they going to put a big bubble over it? Like a big glass yeah. bubble? That, that's yeah. what you've told me on Conspiracy so, oh. Conference. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, he bought up like damn near all of Florida yeah. at one yeah. point. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Um, okay, I don't want to start a poop. fight. But this oh, will start a fight. Gosh. But because we have new people here, no. I want their perspectives on something. A fight. Oh, do not oh, bring out that it. fucking dress. I, I swear to you, if you bring out a dress to start a I'm fight gonna right now, I'm going to cry. For some it. reason, I, this shit gets me a little Okay, I'm, I'm oh, disengaging. Yeah. with you guys. <laughs> I'm, and okay. it makes me look at you differently. I'm not more. engaging. <laughs> this will be between the two of them. Okay, so we uh, obviously we've been getting into some fights in the last recent weeks about the stupid fucking 10-year-old trend of the blue and black dress is it blue and black or is it white and gold do you know what i'm talking about yeah okay well just to refresh your memory i don't i'm gonna pull oh, up a picture oh, no. oh perfect no. and you guys and everybody else shut the fuck up get ready to be <laughs> enraged okay we don't know what color just you is. two let me know what you see he is colorblind yeah i'm pretty colorblind perfect oh perfect okay what so co what color is that dress uh it's white and gold blue and black are you lying no. It's blue and black, it's right? Blue and black. It's he, white and gold. He's colorblind. So that means you no, guys are No, it's white colorblind. and gold it's for white sure. Gold. Yeah, you're How right. are you? It's totally oh, no. Now blue. he gets the fight. Oh, no. He's going to start no. fighting with her. You're They're fucking with up. me. <laughs> no, it's blue and black. Oh are you being serious right now? I know. <laughs> this is we got into a full on, we almost broke up. Like, it was a thing. Because I see blue and black and he sees white and gold. But you're saying, but like, you are colorblind. He, no, no, no. I'm colorblind, but this is clear. I'm. This is white and gold. I'm colorblind. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you're colorblind, you color see certain colors No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm like, with blue and purple, I get them mixed up sometimes. Right. That's like, I'm not, I shouldn't yeah. say I'm colorblind. Okay, color so right. yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. But this is white and gold. It's definitely blue and black. For which one is some white, reason, which is gold? I've never been more confident that it's white and gold. Do you know Same. what's insane? It's ha exactly half the room sees blue and black, and exactly half the room sees white it's and gold. It's crazy that half the people are right and half are wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here's what I'll say. Okay, I just want to clear something up because of our, our fight got pretty intense last time. <laughs> Here's what I want to say. The reason that I'm angry isn't because we see something different. It's because I feel like you- Did you talk to your therapist about this or something? <laughs> <laughs> I really should have. <laughs> I feel as if you don't believe me. I don't. You don't think that I see blue and black. No, I don't trust you. I, I can't trust you if you're telling me that that's blue and something else. I believe, even though I, I so think you you're think wrong. I'm in on it? I believe you. Yes, I think you two both and have something think, weird you going think on. She's in on you it without she, ever knowing about we it. We just met her today. You yeah, think she's in on it. Hell oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'd be I'm super thinking exactly off, the same. Yeah. Like yeah. you guys worked something out before we started recording. Right. Like, okay. Well, like, doesn't see, make sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't I have a question sense. then. Okay. So the outside of the picture is white. How is that white matching the blue stripes? I, exactly. We, we, There's different is, shades yeah, of white. Like the marble's dark, white and white. the white, wall's the white. It's like you're talking to the stupidest people. <laughs> like, it is. I know, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Dude, look I, at the white on the whole phone besides the fucking picture. I know. You guys, is that what you were saying too? 30 shades yeah. of okay. white in this room alone. Have you, have you tried to pick white so paint at I Home just, Depot? There's I, 107 I just, no, I just zoomed in. The bottom of the screen is white, right? Yeah. And then the dress starts. You really don't see a difference between okay. that white. I see a little darker, darker of a color. It's but like a reflection. Thank you. It's there's like they're scanning you. it. Yeah. yeah, but white is the absence of color. So what darker color would I, be darker than white? Gray? But this is white. Yeah. If I put my okay. blue water bottle okay. next to it, you Everybody, have a shadow of blue. I've never been in a fist fight. <laughs> I have. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. I don't want to get here's, punched. Here's, here's, there is an update to this. So, first of all, I'm sorry, because you guys are going to be fighting oh. about this. Too. Yeah. <laughs> There's an update. So I They're a, pretty calm. So I have a picture that somebody sent me, and they said, oh, here you can see both versions. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Let's They're see if this exactly works. The same. Okay, ready? Oh. Well, now, on the left, what colors, like by her hand on her hip, what colors do you see? That's blue and black. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking bust. Well, no, but see? that is blue. This whole black. thing looks blue and black. That's the dress. Though. That's the dress. But the whole thing no, we looks know blue and black. That's yeah. the dress. She's just standing in sunlight. But that's 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 the, okay.
okay, okay. Okay, but wow. in that I, picture. I, I, stay with me, stay with me. <sighs> so that's the dress. That's the dress. Yes. It's blue and black. Yeah. Okay, I don't good think for they you. even know what you're saying right now. Okay, that's, that's the, the same black. dress in the that's picture, That's the same guys. dress. Now, we're now, aware. Now, this picture is just in the sunlight. We're aware, but they look 100% no. different. No, remember when you played with the contrast of the shoe in Photoshop? Okay, and you so play what with you're the admitting hues? is the picture just looks different, but 100%. it's the same dress. And now looking back on it, what color is the dress in that picture? Still white and still gold. Still white gold. gold. No, Very still clearly. White gold. But in real life, what color would it be? <laughs> we don't know. In I, real life, I, what color I, would know. it be? No. They, <laughs> I can't do it. They could have so the, stupid. They could literally so make the same dress in two colors. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done. <laughs> this is three episodes. I'm sure the audience okay. is fucking done too. It's the same dress. Eric, do you acknowledge that it's just some kind of an optical illusion? 100%. And in that picture, that dress is blue and black. Whatever reason you're seeing white and gold, but you acknowledge you're okay. just seeing it I wrong. I will say that seeing the second photo kind of changes the, changes it up a little bit, but I still see white and gold. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I can accept okay. that. I can see, accept this that. this is a smart man. You literally literally Googled music. this, by the way, and there was something about like how different people's brains filter out blue differently because like daylight is blue for instance like uh -huh. it has a natural tint of blue right and some people's brains like filter out that blue and just see like a white light outside and some people see a bluish tint to the light outside okay. anyways there is a bluish tint to sunlight and different people's brains filter it out or don't and that has a lot to do with what, what you see the, isn't the it's blue because of the reflection of the ocean the sun is a fireball we I'm got just, a um, screaming match about okay <laughs> so there is okay this isn't even really a theory. Actually, no, this is a theory. Please, don't, TikTok, don't theory. sue me. Theory. Don't sue me. This is a big theory. So, this is something I found out that was very random, and I it took me a long time to figure out how it was working. So, I got one of those things on my phone where I could, like, cover the camera because I was afraid of, like, you know, hackers or whoever watching me. So, I covered my camera, but my face ID still worked. And I was like, huh? How does that make sense? So, then I Googled it. There is another camera on the other side of mm. this little dynamic island mm. that is an infrared camera. And when you use Face ID, it shoots like a hundred billion lasers at your face to show your face. Like it's very confusing, but you can't cover it. But that little infrared camera is always on and Face ID takes a picture of you every five seconds when you're using your phone. So right now it's taking a million pictures of me because it's learning your face, learning when you gain weight, learning when you lose weight. Like it wants to constantly learn about your face. Isn't that fucking crazy? <laughs> so the theory is that TikTok has access to the infrared camera because of all the little AI filters and stuff on your face. <laughs> so they are watching you while you're on your For You page and every time you smile or laugh, oh. they know that you like the content. Don't sue wow. me. Don't you know? Same with even the Instagram Explore page. They can see where you're... Oh, sorry. Am I no, jumping no, the gun? No, that's everything. Well, no. <laughs> like, I won't even... Half the time when I'm on an Instagram Explore page, it's not like I'm fucking clicking on the mm -hmm. actual photos to enlarge them, but somehow, like, the Instagram is like, oh... You watched one episode of Housewives? You need to see every fucking Housewives. And I think it's because I like linger longer on one. Okay, this is what I found. Okay, so on the Instagram Explore page, right? I've muted and blocked a lot of things because I don't want any drama or anything about mm -hmm. me or anything, right? So I was on the Explore page and in the tiny little corner of the Explore page was a picture of somebody who I didn't want to see. And I looked at them and I was like, why are they popping up? I'm like, oh, I really don't want to see them. Should I mute this thing? No, I'm not going to mute it. Uh, I didn't touch it. I was just looking. And then I kept scrolling. The next day, boom, all the pictures on the Explore page. That's when I started thinking, is it tracking my fucking eyes? And is it tracking my eyes to know exactly what I'm looking at on the Explore page? And that's the algorithm? <sighs> I think it's fucking scary. So, Let me show you what this looks like, because if you see what this infrared shit looks like, you're going to be like I, sick. I think on Instagram, it's probably a mix of that. And they know how long that image is staying on your visible screen. So if that no, image there's is like on a hundred images yeah. on your explore page. Yeah. It's like, oh, boom, 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 boom. gotcha. I, I, oh, that's totally different. So this is what your phone is doing. Wow. That is wow. happening all day, every day, baby. You have to have Face ID on for it to do that? So yeah, the, it's a little infrared camera. And this is when it first came out. So it's got even more advanced than this. Dude, the craziest part to me about all this is we sit around and talk about it like it's crazy. And it's like conspiratory. I think the next generation of people 
is gonna be happy that it does this. Mm. They're like, dude, I'm so stoked Instagram right. knows what I'm thinking about so they could just promote it to me right away. Yeah. Like, I think they're gonna look at it like a luxury when we're looking at it. Like, the first generation is gonna be startled by something, but the next will accept it. Well, that's why people can't it. get off TikTok, though, because yeah. the you algorithm know, like, is part so of the good lure that... will be, dude, if you go on YouTube, they'll just tell you what you like. It already knows. Yeah, the, it already does. The other thing that's crazy to me is that, like, an iPhone can do this now, supposedly, like, the company that cares the most about your privacy. And so the fact that, like, it's doing this and yes. then Instagram and TikTok are like utilizing it to do this to you. Possibly, don't sue us. Possibly, yes. yeah. No, don't, don't, I guess Well, they probably Apple, tell it, us. We it, just it, well, never go through the when you, way when you it, sign up, that shit. yeah, when you sign up for That's TikTok, crazy. And you you go through their their terms and their all that shit when you first create a uh, TikTok. It's known that they have access to like your other apps that you use, like how long you spend on those apps, all this shit about the history of all the other shit that you do, you do in your phone. So it's like honestly, really not that surprising. Well, right. That makes but, their ads more valuable to the market, the people right. buying them. You know, yeah. The more they know about you. So maybe that's why their algorithm is just so good. I like I feel like we've already accepted that our phones are listening to us, and now it's not even crazy. Like yeah. there's targeted ads all day long for anything I've talked about throughout the day and I'm not even phased by it anymore. I'm like, yep, of course. But but now it's like knowing that my phone is watching me the whole time is next fucking level. It's always watching me. And we'll become desensitized to, has, to that too. I know. Has your GPS ever told no. you where you're about to Every go? Every time yes. I get in my car, yeah. Well, but somewhere that you normally don't go and you uh, were just no. talking about, yes. it's happened to me before. It's pretty weird. Oh, yeah. Like, there'll be moments where we get in the car and we're not even, I'm like, mm, let's go home. We should go home. And then it's like, boom. Well, speaking of things that... Uh... Rylan's recap. Lights, camera, action. Rylan's recap is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Rylan's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, our first guests we have never met before, the electrics are here. Yay! Woo! Oh my God. What? Oh. That's a double fire. Do you ever throw it at somebody and then catch it? Oh, let's yet. catch one. Throw catch it to it. Shane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put the fire out. I felt the electricity. Um, <laughs> oh, um, he gained 31 pounds in 31 hours. Mm. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, clapping. I'm like in dangerous news that is safe for only him. Please leave it to Eric the trained professional idiots. Like gain 31 pounds in, was it 24 hours? 31. 31 whoa, 31 pounds yeah, in it 31 sounded cooler. hours. Yeah. Wow. Just in, Eric's a grower, not a shower. Oh, she's been waiting. <gasps> You. Wow, we're Great. waiting till the recap to reveal <laughs> new news that Eric. We gotta get a flame that grows for you right now. Put your hand out. Do you have grower merch? <laughs> a small flame. I had to explain wow. that too. Just you did? <laughs> Are you sure? I feel like he knows. This no, is in Eric is like, what's a shower? Like, oh, he oh. didn't know that that was a thing. No. So you didn't He's have like, to shower like, well, amongst What am guys? I? And I'm like, you're a grower. Bitch. Ooh, that's a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Were you allowed to share that information? Yeah, we, we talked about it a little I bit. I was like, if it comes up, and it never did, and I just, she this just is it. This is it. This is my know. moment. <laughs> Shout out to you. Good oh job. God. You held Grow it in. Grow and tell. Grow and tell. In the, Grow first, and tell. in the first breaking news event of Ryland's recap, yeah. yes. Eric's a grower. Yes. Oh, and is might start an OnlyFans for his growing stomach. Yep. Yeah. So. And if you want to spend your coin in a fabulous way, spend it on Eric's growing stomach. OnlyFans.com slash... Eric's growing stomach. <laughs> Eric's growing stomach. That'll yeah. be the URL. Your only fan should be called Eric the Plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Eric's pipes. Eric the Plumbing. Oh my. Yes, yeah, clean. Come clean my pipes. Take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Look deeper into Eric's pipes. My dad's going to be so proud of me. <laughs> Baby, so it can... reminds me of ratemypoop.com. Oh. What? Rate my poop down. Is what? My food? People upload photo, That's a thing? photos of poop and people rate them from zero to ten. That's disgusting. <laughs> I but you're subscribing to his poop only fans? Should I'm a poop fan. float I mean, hopefully mine would, would be way better than all theirs. I think yours would be 10 out of 10 for yeah. sure. Oh, I'm yeah. confident. Oh, you'd be the goat, bro. The goat no. of poop. <laughs> the goat of poop. <laughs> um, oh, Disney. Um, uh, <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Disney, it doesn't give a they fuck. They murder babies. <laughs> give a fuck. Hide your babies from the rides at Disneyland because they do not give a fuck about your child and alligators will eat them. It's a fucked up world. That's Stay what it safe. Is, man. It really is. Um, KFC oh. Rotten Chicken. Yes. 
Oh, in news I can't stand by, Shane, Jared, and possibly Chris believe KFC are selling rotted chicken to fans, customers, consumers. Yeah, I believe it. Ooh, Five Guys has the most unhealthy fries in the world. Oh, in unhealthy news, uh, Five Guys has the most unhealthy yet delicious fries, in yeah. my opinion. Potential boofery news. You know, they boofed us, I think. They're not that good either, yeah, my yeah, personal yeah. opinion. Uh, oh, TikTok watches your face. Yeah, in scary news, TikTok is tracking your face and emotions, ruining your life. Isn't it crazy that it's called TikTok and it's the biggest waste of time in the world? Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, their first date, they ate um, the biggest burger in the world and then they had sex. Or no. That was actually <laughs> oh, the pizza. That was the pizza. Wait, that was different. That was different. That was different. Yeah. Yeah. And she only had a couple of bites. She, she was keeping it classy. Did you guys have sex after you ate a bunch? That was different. Pizza. It was yeah. pizza. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that a pickup line? Like, do you want to have pizza and fuck? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, and then they say no. It's like, well, you don't want pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pickup line. Yeah. You lived out a pickup I line and really, did the max. You really yep. did. Well, there you have it for, well, that's what you say. Um, I forgot my outro. I'm like blacking out. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's all we have for today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast. Make sure you like, listen, and review anywhere you get your podcasts and follow all of us on social media. Make sure you follow our lovely guests at, what's the best way to find you? Uh, Eric the Electric, Instagram, YouTube, and that's pretty much Twitter. I do that sometimes. Yeah, and you can just search my name, Christy Barker. Make sure you like this video and we'll see you right back here in two weeks. Oh, and get your Shane Dawson merch at shanedawsonmerch.com. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed whatever the hell this poop was. Uh, I feel like we learned a lot about Eric, about Disney, about, <laughs> about murder, about poop, um, and about love, and about fights. Hmm. And I'm so happy that we've resolved it and we've all agreed oh that the dress God. is coming <laughs> And white and gold dresses. Yeah. Yes. Okay, bye. Every, uh, common sense. Every, yes. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.